A draw stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep roads. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high town, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> How do you do? Very Tetris, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam. Your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. You're part of Bartran's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tig with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. I hope there's more to this. Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, 
but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? There might be nothing down there except Darkspawn and Rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know. And I'll be the last. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Barak, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Ah, there's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I'm still figuring that part out. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. Bodan, Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> A kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The favored dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. 
granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. <laughs> and he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rogues. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. I hear that the hero is married to the king now. <laughs> Fancy that. A Grey Warden Queen. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Let's see what your son can do. Enchantment! You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. Take a trip to the country. Please stop kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like that, you bloody peasant? The guard who'll throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. Messer, please stop kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like that, you bloody peasant? The guard who'll throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. The Viscount must be terribly busy. I've been waiting most of the day. My lady, you've been so patient. Is there something I can get for you? Oh, no, I'm quite all right. It's my own fault for not bringing something to do. Just let me know if you need anything. Hello, Hawk. That's it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. 
Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure. But I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. I'm no guard, Evelyn. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Do you have a name or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. All right, Evelyn. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. I don't know what the ancient Aventers used this place for, but I bet it wasn't making people feel at home. Point the way, Hawk. We shouldn't talk here. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day.
How much longer do I have to wait? The office of the Viscount is not open to the public, especially recent arrivals not actually part of the public. There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. Always where you need. I think Bianca's gotten scratched. Close to the ambush hawk. Be ready. There's our targets for the carpool guard.
Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Being a guardsman seems like a better life than being a soldier. Oh? My brother was a soldier. It's all about taking land and serving some king you've never met. Guardsmen? They do something real. They protect people. They make their lives better. I don't know if I agree. Neither would my brother. Hawk, ah, long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't worthy. The dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You aren't still working for a Thenrol, are you? Your year must be up by now. Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. This is the heart of Kirkwall, if you ask me. Another Ferelden Street rat? Are you here to waste my time, or do you actually have coin to spend? Actually, my coin and I were just leaving. Hey, I'm having a bad week. There are few Ferelden's of means in Kirkwall. Forgive me. Are you an armorer? A weaponsmith? My stock is varied. What all my wares have in common, however, is quality. Only the best for my distinguished patrons. See for yourself. Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. Well, what a charming fellow. I don't have to like him, but he could at least listen. Bandits are dead. That's all that should matter. It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. This is probably a bad time to discuss my bill with him. He'll jail you. I don't doubt that. The rest, though. Well, the duty roster will have my next patrol. Sounds like I'll have plenty of time to follow you around. Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. The strangest thing, this mess. I can't concentrate on much else. Captain Jevon just... confuses me. We shouldn't talk here. I don't know what the ancient Aventers used this place for, but I bet it wasn't making people feel at home. How much longer do I have to wait? Good day, Sirach. 